All right, now we're going to create a new application. I'm just going to create a new VCL uh, forms application using Delphi. And we are going to then save this application. I'm going to create a new directory here called example one and place the files in just the way they are. It's a really highly intense uh, project here. But ultimately, um, we are going to add it to version control. And for this um, demo, it really doesn't matter, but we'll, we'll just select Git. We can choose any of those. So we'll try Git. Now we get to use the URL of the repository. And this is the remote repository that uh, our project uh, may ultimately reside. Uh, for uh, this demo, I'm not going to place that anywhere. So um, I'm just going to put the word blank. It really doesn't matter um, because we're not going to have that. I can just have an initial commit here. So what this really is saying is, is this is a Git repository that will only be local on my machine. And so we'll import that. Now that I've done that, uh, uh, that directory is under version control. So I can right click on uh, uh, the project and I now get a git menu where I can commit pull show the log clean and push now since I didn't put a, um, a URL in there we can't pull or push uh, but we surely can make changes and commit so let's do that let's just say hey we're gonna start building our you know one button application uh, that comes in here and, and it has show message Hello world. Come on, I'm having a hard time typing. And uh, we'll just save this. All right. Now, if I go to the history tab right down here, we can see the initial version of the, the form. We can see the committed version, which was no different. And we can also see the current version that has the button, the button click, and the code in it. We can also use um, uh, differences where I can compare the original version to uh, the current uh, version on disk. And we can see the plus and the minus that give us this. So this is the default um, differences view. Uh, however, um, we noticed that uh, we were able to select beyond compare. So if I select beyond compare, I can get it in a, uh, the beyond compare uh, uh, functionality here. Uh, and you can see easily that, that the changes side by side. Um, so uh, that allows us to uh, um, kind of see differences in the file based off history. So let's make a few other, uh, uh, well, let's, let's make this change and um, let's right click over here and go over to Git and we will commit. And in here, once we commit, we're gonna say, added show message as the comment and I am just going to uh, uh, commit uh, that and um, I can come back to the history now uh, hit refresh and I will see that that commit is uh, there and you can see the comment of added show message there in the hint now, the next thing uh, we're going to do is, is we're going to make some more changes, you know, you know, but these changes are destructive to our code. Obviously, we don't want them. Things happen. You know, you go through, you've done a bunch of things and you say, you know, I really just don't want that. I can right click on any file at any time at this and notice I can go to the Git menu on that specific file and revert. So I can revert uh, the changes, and now I'm back to the last commit. So let's uh, uh, do this again. And um, I can commit this. And when I come in, I can say, hey, um, uh, uh, bad changes because you know sometimes well that happens 
And ultimately, now if I come in the history and hit refresh here, I can see the changes that I want. And this allows me in here, I can revert to whatever revision I want. So in this case, let's revert to this previous reversion. Um, and I can say yes. Now I can go back to the code and I'm back to the, the safe version. Save and um, commit. Uh, restored good copy. Okay, this will work with Git, it'll also work with Mercurial, and it'll also work with Subversion. So the History tab is very much aware of your repository. Now, I added that to the version control inside of the project group here. Uh, and there was a menu item there before it got the Git. But hey, say I have existing code out there that's already pointing at a, a Git repository. I can, or any version control repository, Delphi picks that up and understands that. And it knows that the directory is under version control and the history tabs just work. So even if you've checked out your code in an external utility, set it up externally, uh, you can you can still use this. And so the history tab is there it, uh, all the time and ready for you to use. And um, all right, now we're gonna just close this project.